provide most accurate forecast. Victoria, are we expecting some more rain tonight? Unfortunately, we are still a gloomy look over Tybee Island for the moment. Showers are continuing to push towards the coast. Pretty heavy downpours right now south of I-16. We are expecting showers to continue to develop and push into the area as we move overnight tonight. And a similar story for downtown Savannah right now. We're starting to see some low lying clouds for the moment. Definitely a gloomy evening out there right now. We're sitting at 52 degrees. That temperature is expected to fluctuate a little bit as we go over the next few hours, but winds are calm. So it actually feels like 52 if you are heading out the door. And that's a similar story for pretty much the entire area right now. 52 in Savannah as you move inland temperatures coming down to the lower 50s, 50 in Reedsville and Vidalia and in those upper 40s in Statesboro and in Metter as well. So a little bit of a chilly night, but that won't drop too much more as we go over the next few hours. Again, temperatures are expected to fluctuate a little bit as we go throughout the evening. Expect the temperature to rise just a little bit overnight tonight. We still have a 60% chance of rain by 10 p.m. tonight. And as we head into the morning hours by 7 a.m., starting off at 51 degrees tomorrow, and that's just a little bit chilly. Overcast skies, but there is a chance to see a little bit of rain, maybe some sprinkles as we start off your Monday, but then we should clear out. So let's go ahead and time that for you on future cast. So this is by 8 p.m. tonight. You can see still some heavier downpours making their way to their inland areas by 8 p.m. That will continue to push towards the coast as we move into 11. Then we finally start to clear out a little bit. We start to see some popcorn showers going into 6 a.m. on Monday. That's just a few sprinkles, some isolated showers that should clear out as we go into the afternoon and patchy fog is expected to develop as we go into the morning. Now that will clear out through the afternoon hours, but we're still sticking with overcast skies for your Monday. Definitely not the best day out there, but at least we are staying pretty much dry and that'll be the next dry day for the rest of the week. So by 9 p.m. tonight or tomorrow night, excuse me, we're still staying dry, but we do have overcast skies in the forecast. So here's the rain chances for the next few days. There's a 0% chance of rain on Monday. You might feel a few sprinkles, but pretty much we're going to stay dry. Now, as we move into Tuesday and Wednesday, there's a 70% chance of rain. These are the days you definitely need the rain gear ready to go. That rain will stick with us as we go into Thursday, 60% chance, and then we finally dry out going into Friday. So for the next few days, stay rain gear ready. You're definitely going to need it. Uh, rain chances do start to ramp up going into week into the midweek and that a cold front will move through going into Thursday and Friday. There will be colder air falling behind it as well. Expect winter temperatures to return to the forecast as we head into next weekend. So here's your certified most accurate forecast for the next few days. 68 degrees again for your Monday. Now as we head into Tuesday, we're back in the 70s. Spring like temperatures are in the forecast for Tuesday and Wednesday. Now that cold front comes through on Thursday, temperatures will drop to the 50s and as we head into Friday and Saturday, we could see temperatures in the 30s for the low. But as we do head into next weekend, that's when we finally see some sunshine back in the forecast. So if you like to stay updated, just go ahead and download the WJCL 22 News app. It's free and Google Play or the Apple App Store. Check it out. And now Amy is here with a look at sports. Amy, what